best way I can describe it, when I was a kid, and it's your birthday, and you have your cake with all the candles in front of you, and people always tell you to make a wish and blow out the candles, well, I cannot explain why it was my wish, but I had always wanted to be a girl. It was just something that I had always wanted. say volleyball came very naturally to me. It really helped me get through high school. A lot of high school, I was not having a very good time. How have you been? <laughs> good. I miss you too, my little baby. <laughs> yeah, you wanna have some lunch? Sure, yeah, sounds okay. good. So that's Chloe's graduation picture. I haven't seen that very often. No. Chloe, you know, through middle school and stuff, super athletic and everything, which was great. But Chloe barely made it through high school. I mean, seriously, by the skin of her teeth. When I hit middle school, I started to get really sad because I realized that I was hitting puberty and I absolutely hated the way my body was changing. I wanted, you know, to be more feminine. I wanted to be a girl. Looking back, I had absolutely no care about anything. I didn't want to be at school. I had no desire to do homework. I ended up getting kicked off the volleyball team my junior year because my grades had dropped so low. I realized that what I was feeling was being transgender. I really just didn't want to exist. You want a Coke or something? Sure. Yeah, yeah I'll take one. OK, here. Is that a, what is that, grapefruit juice? Grapefruit juice. Mind if I have some of that with the Coke? No, whatever you want. When I came out to my mom, it was pretty funny. I came out immediately after getting off the plane from when I was living in Texas. I was picking Chloe up at the airport, and that's when Chloe told me, I've got to follow my true essence of who I am as a person. You know, of course you're like, uh. <laughs> as a parent, you're like wondering, oh my gosh, you know. Initially, she was really upset and I think confused and she didn't have a very positive initial reaction. And it took her a while to really come around to accept me. I'm gonna miss you being gone. I mean, it's been tough and you need some support. And I'm definitely glad that you've been there. A lot of issues I've had over the years. Once Chloe talked to me and I was able to embrace it and I stopped trying to convince her to not do that and I just stopped making it about me because it's not about me. It's about Chloe and living her best life and then I saw the wonderful things that she was doing. How could you not support somebody to be their best person in life? She was the first major supportive family member I had. So are you getting excited to play volleyball? And yeah, I think it'll be it'll be fun. It'll be an experience. It was pretty nice to have my mom being supportive. She came out to a few of my volleyball games, and it was great. She's a very loud whistler, so it's very easy to spot when she's at a game. Love you. Love you too. Be careful. Bye. <laughs> Transitioning has definitely had a lot of ups and downs. I've had some of the lowest lows since starting and some of the highest highs since starting. It's been a lot of mixed feelings. There's a lot of people that made me not feel like I was welcomed, and there's a lot of average everyday things that made me feel like I was distant or like in a completely different world than everyone else. I originally wanted to play for a college team. When I realized I was doing fairly all right in a community college team, I figured that I'd try and push for an NCAA team because it's taking it to the next level and it's trying to prove not only like to myself, but to everyone that told me I couldn't do it, that I could. I had looked up schools in different divisions and of the division two schools that I spoke out to, only a few responded. When I disclosed that I was trans, very quickly I got rejections. I don't know if it's connected or not. 
the myth that trans athletes, specifically transgender women, have an advantage in sports, I feel like it's kind of a fear. It's an unfounded scientific fear. Growing up your whole life, going through puberty, kind of understanding how your body works, you know, you get used to it. Well, transitioning is like going through puberty backwards the other direction twice as far. There's a noticeable difference in my athleticism for the first few months on hormones. Like I had a lot of muscle pains, my shoulders would hurt a lot, and I realized it's all my male muscle going away. It was pretty challenging at first, just having all my muscle basically melt off my body. I definitely can't jump as high as I used to. I'm driving to meet some friends up for dinner since it's the last time I'll be able to see them for a while. How are you guys? Hey, yo. Hi, how are you? I'm gonna miss you all a lot. Oh. I'm gonna get you next oh. It's really not an easy process. Having a good friend group and having people to be there helps make transition easier. Because without that sort of scaffolding, I feel like it would be a lot harder for me to pursue what I wanted to do. I'll see you all soon. <laughs> Very <laughs> soon. There she goes. It's funny. The last thing I grabbed before leaving was actually my uh, Dungeons and Dragons die set. <laughs> I was thinking, I'm like, am I ever going to play D&D &D up in college? <sighs> Alrighty. It's uh, 5.52, so almost 6 a.m. Woke up a little early and just sat in bed and stared at the ceiling. Like, go back to sleep for the last 10 minutes. And I couldn't seem to do it. It should take us anywhere from six to maybe seven and a half hours. Currently in Santa Cruz. The drive was uh, tiring, but overall it wasn't too bad. This campus is literally on a redwood like national forest. So I think we're going the right way. I have no idea. We shall see. All right, cool. I think my biggest concerns with having a new team is just making a new relationship with the coach, making a new relationship with my teammates, and some of them can speculate if I'm trans or not. I have no idea. Well, the first person I spoke to about going to Santa Cruz was Coach Morgan. Chloe emailed me and she said, I'm a junior college transfer and I'm really looking at UC Santa Cruz and I think in the same email was when she told me that she was also a transgender athlete. Because I had gotten the rejection from Division II schools really early in the fall semester, I wanted to make it very clear for the schools I was interested in D3 that I was just going to disclose it immediately. UC Santa Cruz does have a very open environment, and we really try to make that known. I sent her some footage of me playing, and she was really interested in me. What I noticed with Chloe was that she's a strong volleyball player. She has a lot of power, and she's also tall. We're going to follow the trail around a little bit to the McHenry Library, where the team meeting is.
Last night, at the very end of the team meeting, Coach Morgan was like, I think we should come out to the team tonight. And I was like, I'm not prepared for this, but sure, that's fine, I'm cool with it. And the team read an article that I had written. And at the very end, after everyone had read it, Coach Morgan told the team that I had written the article and that I am a trans athlete. I was kind of, you know, shaking my legs a little, fiddling with my hands, because I wasn't sure how the reaction would be. And there was just silence. And I'm just sitting there like, oh no, I hope this isn't a negative reaction, but it wasn't. It wasn't, it was just me overthinking things. We all read Chloe's article. I think most of us had already read the article because yeah. we'd met her at tryouts, and so like, just you like look up who your teammates are on Facebook. Coming here, like, it's really more of an open like community and like open-mindedness. It's like a big aspect of the like college here. I don't think like anyone on our team has anything like, oh my gosh, she's transgender. I don't think that was ever like, a talk between any of us. It was more of just looking at her as another person that's coming and trying to take like your playing time. <laughs> The only question I got afterwards, and this is the funniest question it could have been asked, was, are you an English major? Because this is really well written. And it was like, oh, thank you. UCSC is definitely a very liberal campus. I think they were like, you either get out of the program or get out. Like, yeah. you either accept it or you're not welcome here because we include everyone. Today, we're practicing as a team, but there's also going to be a few little preliminary um, exercises and whatnot. I'm just so fortunate that my entire team has been so supportive and there wasn't any awkwardness. Everyone was just okay. And that's honestly the greatest feeling ever. I'm just excited to finally go out and play with the volleyball. Hearing them talk about going to nationals and I can't believe that it's actually come to this point and that I made it this far. Cruise on three, one, two, three, cruise! Knowing that everything is at the point that it's at is absolutely amazing. All my life dreams are literally coming true. I never expected any of them to. Bye, I'll see you tomorrow. It's hard to describe to people how happy it makes me to be here. At the end of the day, I'm just a person that loves volleyball, and I want to play it. I just love the sport that I play and want to try and continue to do it. So I just keep pushing to make sure I do.